Hey, what's up everybody? Tony Lebon here from Adorfriner. Welcome to another video on Monday.com. Today we're going to look at the power of Monday.com and how we've implemented it and integrated it through our entire application process. So when I talk about applications, I'm talking about the applications for our houses, for our apartments, that tenants are filling out in order to get into one of our units. Now I know most if not all property management software comes with the application system built into them. However, my problem is, and our problem is, has been for a number of years, is that the application workflow available in a lot of these tools aren't that great, right? We, we've been, we're big Buildium users. We've been using Buildium now for over 11 years. The applications for all intensive purposes has worked. However, there's been a ton of different automations that I've been wanting to do over the years that I just haven't been able to do because of the, the, the software just doesn't allow us to do it. So this is where Monday.com came into the picture. So we've been able to basically take the entire application system, bring it into Monday, have beautiful application forms and automations galore throughout all of the different stages for our tenants. And what the magical part is, which I'll cover next week, is how you can tie in the applications into the old uh, lease signing workflow. So that's where things get incredibly powerful to where literally the day you can have an application that's been approved, change the status, the lease gets automatically created, sent to the tenant for e-signature, and then brought back to you versus a Dropbox or a Google Drive type notification. That's what we've built out. So this week we're gonna start by showing you our application workflow. So I'm gonna share with you the actual workflow chart that we've created, and I'm gonna run you through the board and show you exactly how it all works. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy it, and let's get to the video. Hey, what's up everybody? Okay, let's dive right into the content of this video today. So. We're gonna go through our application workflow and what we've implemented in monday.com. Hopefully it can give you guys some pointers on what are some possibilities that you guys can also do as well within your environment. So what you're seeing here right now is simply the application board. But before I dive into that, I really wanna review the workflow because in reality, this is where all of the hard work is done. Creating the boards and the integrations and all that stuff is really easy to be able to do once you're used to it. The real art that comes from all this is creating and putting together the workflow that matches and fits your business. So again, this is what we've created for our company. I'm going to think that a lot of these steps are going to be somewhat almost exactly the same or very similar to probably what you've got implemented today. So it all starts at the top here when an application is filled out by one of our tenants. So what's gonna happen here? So these square boxes are our in-person actions. The circles are the automations that we've got set up within Monday. And then the other form here is our decisions. Okay, so these are when certain decisions need to be, usually when status changes are made within Monday. So as soon as an app is created, um, uh, several things are being done within Monday. A new item is being created, meaning a new application. Tanya, which is our leasing manager, she's the one that gets assigned the application. The status gets set to new, to new. A thank you email is sent to the tenant with an attached PDF version of their application. Um, and we also notify the leasing channel in Slack. If you're not a user of Slack, I strongly recommend it. It's a fabulous tool and you can kind of create these channels create updates and it kind of sends out these different broadcasts. So we've set up a leasing channel to where I've got all of my leasing agents, I've got my office staff and myself. So as soon as we rent a unit, as soon as we have a great showing, as soon as an application is removed, we like kind of sending out these broadcasts because it, it encourages people, right? It's like positive news, it's great news, um, and we want to be able to share that out. Um, once that's done, um, we have to, this, this step hasn't been, uh, unfortunately hasn't been uh, automated yet, but a PDF gets created once the application is, is, uh, is filled in. That email and that PDF gets sent to my leasing manager. So she's gotta go into her email and upload that PDF into Monday. 
you don't have to, but it, it really makes things a little bit easier, and I'll show you why when we get into the tool. So once that's done, you're basically faced with a status condition, right? It's like, what do you do next? So the first step that we do is we move the application into a work in progress. This is where we, we check everything, we do all of our screening, we make sure that the tenants sent us everything that we need, whether if it's references, pay stubs, the deposit has been sent in, check all the references, you know, all that fun stuff that goes into there. And then from there, um, you know, there's a bunch of things that can happen. Either the application can be deferred because we're waiting for information. So I'm sure all of you guys know how, you know, sometimes you can, you know, an application or comes in, they're all excited to get the unit and it takes them three days to get us the pay stub or confirmation of employment or some previous landlord to get back to us. So we, we, we call that a deferred state, meaning that we're still working on it. It's active, but I'm not looking at it every five minutes. We're actually waiting for the other party. Um, then we had cancel. So whenever we cancel an application, whenever we reject it, we set the, the status to reject. And then once we approve it, we set the approval on it. And again, throughout all these different stages, this is where the real power of Monday comes in is we have the automated emails being sent out at all of those different stages advising the tenants kind of what's going on. So I love sending that initial email saying, hey, we got your, you got your application. We got one of the, you know, one of the people on the staff working on it and we'll get back to you shortly. Um, if the status is approved, we send them like a big congratulation email and here's what to expect on the next steps. If the application is in a deferred status, we send them updates uh, or check-ins every day. It's like, hey, your application is sitting here in a deferred status. We're waiting for, for information from you. You know, when can we hear back from you? So these constant automated touch points are super helpful. So this is a very basic version of what we're running, but I wanted to kind of give you an idea, the importance of putting something like this together, okay? So now let's jump into uh, Monday. First, I'll show you, uh, no, we'll go into Monday. So this is our board. So we got some data that we put in here for illustration purposes. So we have these different groups. So we have new, in progress, approved, deferred, canceled, and rejected. So whenever a new application comes in, it automatically gets put into this new bucket. The status gets set to new, it's assigned to my leasing manager, um, and then some pre-filled information is filled out. And one of, the, one of the important parts of the way that we've set this up is we've integrated this with JotForm. So if you're not familiar with JotForm, JotForm is a forms platform that you can create some really cool, dynamic, and visually very nice different types of applications. And there's also some automations and some cool stuff that you can do with that alone. So uh, JotForm and Monday have an amazing integration. So if I look at the application form, this is our application. So there's a bunch of pages. They fill in this information. They go next. Then they're in it, you know then you're going to put in all the information with regards to the property you're looking to rent. Um, you know all of these fields if they're required. It's not going to let you move forward. Basically, once you've filled all of that out, we're then gonna get the new entry. And then by default, the beauty th thing here is the JotForm integration actually creates this link and it says, go to that specific application within JotForm. And I just gotta click it. And then that brings me to JotForm and it actually shows me all of the details of my application right there. It's absolutely beautiful. And it actually gives me a list of all my submissions of applications. So in addition to having them inside Monday, I've actually now got them stored within the JotForm framework as well. Um, what we like to do, and I kind of mentioned this earlier, is we have this view that we can go into, but we can also actually upload the PDF of the application itself. So that's what we put this column here. So if I just hover over it, I can now see a nicer version of the application. And this is actually what gets sent to the tenant as well as my leasing manager. So it's nice, it's very clean. You can design all of this in terms of what it looks like. Um, and then they, they sign at the end. So that's, that's super helpful for when they're working the app. We take uh, the only information that we've displayed here 
is the names, the emails, phone numbers, and the address that they're looking to rent. Right now, that's really all I need because all the other information is stored within the PDF, so that's all fine. So what happens next is my leasing manager comes in, they get notified, hey, new application came in, it's also sent to our Slack channel, so she'll go in, review the application, and then they'll automatically set the status to in progress. So I'll change this one to in progress, and then it gets sent down here automatically into the in progress column. So that means I actively have somebody working on this application. So they're, they're doing their thing in the background. They're doing, checking the references and doing everything they need to do. And then all they got to do once the application has been approved, again, they go in, they change the status to, let's say we want to say that it's been approved. It then gets sent over here into approved. So in the approved one that I just approved, if I click on the little updates here, you're going to see that we have an automation email that was sent out. So it says, hey, Lisa, congratulations, you've been approved. You're that much closer to living into your new home. In the next 48 hours, our office will be reaching out to you to schedule an appointment to get your lease signed. So this is a little bit outdated. And for example purposes, now we do everything through e-signature. Um, the, the new version of this is basically, you know, please wait. Basically within the next couple hours, you're going to be sent another email with the actual lease agreement to sign. Um, and here's actually a video that you could go watch that has like an FAQ of all the different questions and answers that people may have had with regards to how to sign the lease and or questions about the lease. So we try to preempt some of that stuff. Um, super powerful. That has eliminated a ton of back-end work in terms of some of my staff in the office. Um, another cool thing that um, you can actually look in here, so um, this is the application again. So as you can see, I've got a bunch of different applications here in different stages. The beauty about Monday again is these concepts of dashboards and charts. So I've created a chart here to where you could use this for your morning meetings or your huddles to check and see, okay, well, how many applications do we have in the pipeline and what stages are they in? So this is a dynamic chart that's being updated in real time. And if I click on it, I can actually see, uh, or I won't be able to see it from in here. If I look at it within Monday and I view my chart, um, I'll be able to see it right with the data that I have in here, um, which is, very, very nice to have, um, especially if in, you're in your team meetings. We've, we've found this tremendously valuable. So for us, it the only reason why we've gotten out of the Buildium applications is really the automations available and the customization that I can do with literally everything in terms of the customer experience. I'd like to be able to notify them at certain stages I'd like automations to do the chasing instead of me always picking up the phone and having to write an email. We just we just script it right in the system and it just it hounds them until we get an answer or after a certain period of time, you can just close the ticket and then it sends them another email saying, hey, you didn't respond to me, so we're closing the app and you know, case closed and we're done. So anything to save time within that environment. Um, so in terms of integrations, you can see here in my little plug, I've got three of them. I've got the JotForm integration, I've got the Slack integration, and I've also got the Gmail integration that sends out all the notifications or the automations on the email sequences. And then for automations, I got 13 of them. It's quite a few. And this even, this isn't, this isn't even the production version. So we got a lot more. Um, so whenever statuses are changed, we got a bunch of stuff moving around because you want the moving of the boards to be done automatically. You don't want people to have it dragging stuff, although you can. Like I can simply take this and drag this up here and I can pretty much drag them all over the place. But you want to be able to have the system control where these are going according to the statuses because that's that's really where the power comes in. So. Um, so yeah, that's that's our entire application workflow. This, and we're going to talk about this next week, so I highly recommend that you subscribe to this channel so that you're notified when next week's video comes out. I'm going to be able to show you how to take this application, once it's approved, how to then get it to a filled out lease that's then sent to your tenant 
for e-signature, they sign it, and then it automatically comes back to you with a notification that it's been signed. That for me is like the holy grail of this whole leasing process because I don't know about you guys, but not too long ago, our business model was when we, saw, we signed our leases, we had appointments in the office. Everybody came in, we scheduled a half hour to an hour, we sat with them, we explained all the details of the leases, got them signed, gave them copies, and it was a very, you know, we thought it was good service, but at the end of the day, we realized, obviously, COVID brought this to play on how technology can replace all of that. And it really is a lot better for us because it's going to probably decrease anywhere from 10 to 12 hours of manpower from my staff a week. And additionally, it was, it was a pain for the tenants. They had to take time out of their day to come to our office, to drive over, and it was just, it just didn't make any sense. With, with technology today, you don't really need any of that. I still think there is a time and a place for the impersonal stuff and you need to have that. But I think this process, I think it can be automated and that's what we've done. And it's completely, again, it's, it's transformed the front end of our office. So, you know, my hopes are that it can do the same for you. So again, as usual, if you got any questions at all, send me an email, Tony at dopener.com. And uh, yeah, enjoy your day. Oh, and if you want a copy of the workflow chart that I created, send me an email and I'll fire that off to you. So again, Tony at doorpreneur.com and we will see you next Friday with the next edition of our course. Cheers.